Hey guys, Hydrate here. Today I'm going to show you how to download, run, and use Danap, the interpolation AI. So let's get into it. First, as you can see, it's a big warning. Danap 1.0 will only work with NVIDIA. I could have sworn there was also an AMD version, but it looks like that's out of date. The download links for the Patreon are now all gone. So if you have an AMD card, it looks like you might be out of luck. But you could always do my right flow frames tutorial and figure out how to use that one. But if you still want to use Daynap, let's get into it. There's going to be two, three links right here where you can download it. But the Google Drive one doesn't work. So we have Mediafire. And this is Mediafire. And we also have GitHub. So you can download either one. I personally want to download from GitHub. There you click that one. Whoops. You just download it wherever you want. I'm going to download it to this drive. Once that's downloaded, you can just double click that, drag and drop, or right click and extract, depending on whatever you want to do. Once that's finished, you can just double click it. Gain app, double click that. Wait for it to load. And there you go. Now you have Daynet. So it seems a bit complicated at first, but if you want to support them, go and support them on Patreon. You can have input an MP4 file or another video file. I'm not entirely sure. I've only used MP4. A PNG sequence, or and you can resume a render if something happens. And you can choose what to export it as. You want to choose where to output and where to input. Say like I have a video like that, I'd hit that and click open. And I would do best. And then you can do this. Uh, changing this does make it take a lot longer. I typically keep these as the same. And if you ever have errors, you can always turn turn these off but it will take longer and if you're doing a cartoon or a 2d thing and you want to choose def depth awareness as cartoon and if you're doing a real life or 3d thing make sure to use you know that one change your algorithm uh, actually no don't do don't, 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 uh, do not change your algorithm choose which graphics card you want to use batch size I'm pretty sure this is just like the amount of it um, videos to go at once then you, it'll choose the input fps of the video and then you can choose to interpolate 246 248 i mean just leave that at that output options blah 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 this is a pretty self-explanatory if you are getting that out of memory issue which this does take a lot of video memory you can always downscale it to like 1280 Actually, no, you just do 720. 720p, 1440 somehow, do 1440, blah, blah, blah. But splitting it in sections, I would not really recommend because it takes a significant amount of time to do that. You can choose dark or bright mode, FAQ, beta options, blah, blah, blah. And that's really it. If you ever have an issue with like performing all steps in render, you just do each step at a time, but I just prefer to do render. But that's really it. Thanks for watching.